Hi guys, my name is Chris and this is a short developer demo tutorial of Twilio. Uh, Twilio is a service that you would use if you want to programmatically send SMS, receive SMS, or programmatically make voice calls or receive voice calls um, into your application. Um, so Twilio would be a good service to use. Uh, a typical application would be if you're building, say, an automated voice response where you let your callers choose, uh, you know, dial 1 if you want to be taken to an operator or dial 2 if you want to hear more information. So uh, Twilio is a, is a service that you would use for such applications. Another one would be if you're um, building an application which lets your users um, SMS in their votes, such as in a show, you know, maybe in American Idol. Uh, that would you know that application would typically uh, be using a service like Twilio so to understand how Twilio works what I did is I signed up um, for a Twilio account uh, and I've signed up here and how this really works is um, you you simply purchase a number from Twilio and any SMS or calls made to that Twilio number um, Twilio would be able to make a request back to your application, sending along you know necessary information such as what is the SMS number um, or where is this coming from, and, and you know we'll be exploring that in a bit. Um, but basically, that's a that's a basic concept behind Twilio. You get a Twilio number, and then you can programmatically receive information um, depending on what's being done on that number. Um, so as I was saying, I si I've signed up, and then I've purchased a number. And the first page you will see is the dashboard, and then I've clicked on numbers, and it's going to show me the numbers I'm currently managing, and, and this is one of them. And you'll be presented with two fields right here. As you can see, there's voice. And, and voice is, you're basically, in this field, you're, you're telling Twilio, when I receive a voice call in the, my Twilio number, call this URL. So this is what it's saying. And the same, you know, same logic applies to messaging. When I receive an SMS from uh, from a Twilio number, call this URL. So this is how Twilio links your application and uh, the people dialing in or sending SMS to your number. So it's a very basic concept. So to to show you how this works, let let's try it out. I'm gonna send an SMS to my number, and it's gonna call this. Um, page I've set up right here as you can see it doesn't have anything so we'll refresh this page in a bit which shows us the information being sent by Twilio when we send an SMS or a number so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type my name and send SMS to the Twilio number I have up here um, I don't know if you can see this but I'm just gonna hit send uh, okay and then hopefully that went in and here we go so now we have that information immediately presented to us and this is just a, an NGROC application um, and it has nothing to do with Twilio but I'm just using it so we can break out the information that we're getting from Twilio as you can see we have a lot of information here I probably shouldn't be sharing this um, we have the from number we have the SMS which is my just my name and we even know where it's coming from um, so that's the type of uh, information we get from Twilio. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we can respond to this SMS? So let's let's go back to our, our numbers page right here. And I'm just going to point this to an XML file. Um, we'll be opening that file just to show you what, what that contains. And I'm just going to save this. So now every time I, I send an SMS, it's just going to point to this XML file and Twilio will receive or read back this XML file. So what is this XML file? If you, if we look at this, I'm just going to open this in Notepad. Um, it's a simple XML representation and, and Twilio call this TIM, TWML or uh, TML. Um, basically it's uh, providing instructions back to Twilio on what we're going to do um, when we receive an SMS. And this is a simple, you know, it just says, um, you, you basically send an SMS back um, with this uh, message. So let's let's try that. So I've saved this um, page with the SMS as XML. So I'm, I'm gonna send the same message to myself, say Chris, and send, and hopefully we'll, we'll get a message back um, from Twilio with that. Um, so there we go. Um, not sure if you can see this, but we, we receive a response from Twilio 
um, based on the XML file that we have here. Now, this is a static response. Um, wouldn't it be great if I could reply in a more personalized way? Say, if I SMS my name, it's going to say hello something or Chris uh, back. So this is where your application comes in. Um, you, you basically can piece together the XML response. It doesn't necessarily have to be an XML file. You could, you could have an application sitting there, which in, in my case is, is a Node.js application. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to restart um, this and point it to my, my Node.js application, which is running um, right here. And it's just piecing together an XML file using the information that I get back from Twilio so that I would be able to reply back to the user in a more customized way. Um, so if, if you're interested, this is what it looks like. Um, this is a Node.js file. If you're not a Node.js developer, it's fine. What it's just doing is getting getting the, the information being sent by Twilio and then using that as a response. Um, so this is, in, in fact, this is not even XML. This is text plain. But you know it's highly advised to use to ML. But in this case, I just want to let's just try this and, and just want to show that it still works. Um, so now let's go back to our dashboard um, and point it back to this web page, which would be now. It, this would now be pointing not to the my normal you know web application, but it's now pointing to my Node.js application. So what I'm going to do is. Again, send an SMS. My name, Chris. Um, send SMS. I'm not even sure if you can see this, but you have just to trust me on this. Um, and then hopefully we'll get a response back. So there, um, it said hello, Chris. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Um, but it says hello, Chris, because um, our application um, basically responded using uh, using the Node.js application that I did. Um, now, those are cool, but what about voice, right? So in this one, the U this URL is actually provided for by, by Twilio, and it's a, a really useful tool if you want to test um, uh, Twilio stuff. And, and what, what this URL does, it, it basically creates an XML that, um, that, um, that Twilio can read. And what this is just saying is, when someone calls into our number, it's going to reply with this message back, which is, hello, Chris, thanks for the call. So that's, you know, you don't even have to have a real person behind Twilio to be able to reply in this way. So it's basically um, an automated voice response kind of thing. So let's try um, calling this number. And let me put it on uh, speaker. Hello, Chris, thanks for the call. So that was, did you hear that? Let's try that again. I'm actually running my credits down doing this, but. Oh yeah, hello Chris, thanks for the call. But, um, so that's what it's doing. Um, and again, this, this could be pointing to your application, replying in a different way using a female voice or having a, a bunch of choices that a user can, can ch uh, choose uh, when they're making a call. So that's um, that's how Twilio works. It's really cool. It's very simple. Um, and just to wrap up this video, hopefully this was useful. Um, Twilio is a service that sits in between um, your users and yourself, so that whenever someone sends a message to your SMS uh, to your Twilio number or makes a voice call to your Twilio number, Twilio would then. Um, send out, uh, make a request or application, sending all that information so that you can make, you know, a bunch of, you know, app, uh, logic that your application can, can handle. Um, so hopefully that was useful. Um, I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.